Bruce, today we're talking about a subject that is very important, and that is having a variety of merchandise in your space along with a variety of prices. What do you think? I, I totally concur. And by the way, welcome, friends. Welcome to my house. I mean, I consider where I work my house just the way you probably do as a dealer in your space. Consider it to be your home away from home. Uh, but Dan prompted a very good point. If you don't offer a variety of merchandise and a variety of pricing, who are you appealing to? Obviously not to everybody. And don't you want to appeal to everybody? I mean, I know I do. You know, you don't want to appeal to just one or two people who happen to walk by your booth that day or that week. Sure. You want to appeal to all 1,000 of them. You know, we've done surveys out of every 1,000 people people who walk through our front doors, usually about 75% of them have been here within the last 30 days. If your booth looks the same, if you're not offering a good variety and something to appeal to all of them, many of them are going to walk right on by. And, you know, if you have a family come by, you don't want dad saying, honey, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to stand here. There's nothing for me to look at or the kids to not have anything to look at. It's important that you make it a total family shopping experience within your booth. Right. So this not only applies to pricing, it applies to gender and it applies to age. And so you have to think how many how many times we have we have uh, a, a you know, a couple friends coming in, whether they're, they're two guys or two girls or younger folks, you have to have something that at least gets them to stop. Now, there, there is a train of thought that, you know, maybe you have a shabby booth and, and that's not going to apply to many guys, but you can have, you can have something as simple as a crock in there or, or oh, something that, that attracts, yes. That's exactly I right. I differ because I get dealers all the time who say to me, you know, hey, I, want, I like to specialize. I only want to do primitives or I only want to do shabby or I only want to do Pyrex. You know, a lot of men buy Pyrex and look at it and you can still theme it. You can theme a primitive booth with different shapes, colors, uses, uh, and you can still make it guy friendly and you can make it woman friendly. I mean, the men buy for gifts. People buy for one of three reasons. Do not forget this. They buy either to use it or they buy it because they want to make an investment out of it. That's more men than women. And they sometimes just buy for that warm and fuzzy feeling. My Aunt Gertrude had this and my cousin Bart got it at the estate sale and I want one just like it. And remember, once you've bought it, it's now yours. And so it can be the same one that you remember. And that's why people buy for that parameter. Uh, there's so many things that you can do by offering up a variety. And you can make more money in the process. And that's what you need to do. One of the things that, that we look at is, is you never know how, how, much, how many dollars someone has in their spending pocket. And so it, it may be in the 5 or $10 range, or it might be in the $50 or $100 range, but you have to have items in there that will appeal to all of, all of those shoppers. I totally agree. I mean, you know, do you want to capture 20 bucks from every customer that walks by your booth, or do you want to capture $100 from one person out of every 1,000? Right. So, you know, you, you got to ask yourself that particular question. Well, sure, I'd like to capture five bucks from every person or, you know, 20 bucks from every person. You know, it's, it's all about getting the first dollar versus the last dollar because the last dollar costs you more money. And you got to know how you can move your stuff around and make it look good. And you can survive off of your smalls. If you have a lean time in your booth, maybe a lean time where you don't have as much inventory, having the smalls in your booth, having that lower priced item can really make you some extra money and you know the, the anchor pieces that you don't really care if you price them a little bit higher sure. who cares the smalls can sustain you till that right person walks by and is willing to pay for the more high for the higher priced item now we also did not speak yet about size of items and if you have a booth that has nothing but very small items handheld items in it uh, you can actually overwhelm the person with too many small items and, and they get lost in it and their eye has nothing to focus on. True, and you can't adequately display 
tons and tons of smalls. Even when you try to do a theme, it's so much nicer, uh, and any designer would tell you this, to have depth and height. So whenever you can have depth, height, and width, you create the perfect vignette. And a booth can have several vignettes in it. I mean, let's face it, your home's the same way. Your dining room table's a vignette. Your front porch is a vignette. Your living room can be set up in a theme or a vignette. A bedroom is a separate vignette. There's so many ways, you know, you can have the man cave or the she shed or you know just the the den or the family room they can all have their own flavor their own style and that makes your home more interesting sure all right another great topic if you would like to know any more on this or any of the topics that we talk about uh, check out the other faqs that are on the the dealer's site of our page and tune in again thanks thank you friends come see us we appreciate you